the first day in a while that I've been out riding. Sure is a beautiful day. It's 60 degrees out here. The sun is shining. And it is absolutely beautiful. The end toward the end of February. And I got decided that I would go out and ride. It's absolutely beautiful, man. I just can't believe it. This time last week we had cold weather and and uh, sleet and everything else. That's what was actually but anyway we had some sleet and everything. And cold weather. <clears throat> and I'm kinda hoping that it's gonna start being more like spring. Than it is, than it has been. But I don't know. We still got to face March. You know, we don't have March over with yet. So we haven't even got into it. But I'm hoping that maybe it will start being a little more like spring. I know everybody's ready for it. We've all been ready for it for a while. Anyway, I thought I would take you along on my ride. First one I've done in a while. And I just get out and ride and see what all is going on. It really feels good to be back on the trike. It was good to be out. I know there's some people that can't, you know, get out yet because where they live it's still snowy or really cold. But uh, at least I'm going to take advantage of it while it's here. And I'm guessing we'll probably have some more cool weather or cold weather. Maybe we won't have any more snow or sleet. I kind of wonder if this truck that's coming is it's turning and it sure enough is. either. I don't know if I say lazy boy or web wheel down the road here. Don't know which. It's evidently been to one or the other. I would take me a little ride and enjoy the sunshine now. I think I'm going to turn this around where you can see what's going on and uh, kind of get an idea of where I'm going and all. There's a uh, a new subdivision out here that that they're building. I'm just gonna kind of go ride through it and see the houses. I'm not looking to buy one or anything, but I just wanted to ride out here and see what kind of progress they've made since the last time I come through here. Which has been a little while. I think, yep, got a car coming. Of them. Anyway, 
we'll pull over here and then I'll cross the road. Just looking off into the distance over here. I don't know if you can see it, there's a plane right there about there. I don't know if it's landing at the airport out here. We have a small airport here in town that may be landing out there, but I just happened to look over there and see it. In case you were kind of wondering what I was looking at. Cross the road. Get across here. And... See what's all going on here. Got some apartments or duplexes or something being built there. been working on them a while and then back over here there's not anything built right in there and right in there and right over here there's nothing built it's all empty lots now Looks like they're going to put apartments on this side or duplexes, maybe duplexes, or I say duplexes, townhouses on this side, and then they're going to put houses over here. I don't know if they're going to put houses here or what, but anyway, that's what it looks like to me. I was just out taking a, a ride and thought I'd ride out here. It's kind of nice to be out it's it's a really nice day really nice day and we're gonna put a pool right there I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Kind of makes a person wonder, you know, that's a good idea putting the pool out there with a bunch of people living here. And to me, that almost looks like a lawsuit. Now, maybe they've got insurance and stuff for that, but I don't know. You know. I don't know. I'd be afraid of a dead gum lawsuit. Is what I'd be afraid of. That's what my fear would be is is having somebody sue me because they drowned or family drowned or family member drowned or the kid did or whatever the case is but that's just just my thinking but anyway kind of wanted to bring you along on my ride today and and let you ride along with me and uh, like I said it may say it's not probably very interesting to some I'm going through a subdivision but you can see that have a little progress around there, some building and a lot of houses and stuff going in here and uh, a lot of people moving in and stuff. When, when we first moved here there wasn't as much. I don't, I think the town was maybe, I don't know, I want to say 10,000 maybe and uh, it's grown quite a bit in the time we've lived here. There was a spurt of growth for a little while till 
remember how many years till about 2010 or 11, somewhere along in there, and then it's housing bubble burst and didn't build for a while. Now in the last year or so, they've started building again. And this, of course, is 2021. Of course, 2020, I think they may have started building a lot of, of uh, houses because people were moving in and and that sort of thing, but I think a lot of people are moving from uh, Bentonville and I think some people are moving from uh, California and stuff because they don't want to live in a big city and don't want to live in California, which I can't really say I blame them. I wouldn't want to live out there either myself and uh, I just don't believe I'd want to be there. <clears throat> But, uh, I think the houses out here for them that come from California is fairly cheap, considering, you know, their houses sell for way more than ours do. Ours would probably start out like a million dollars and on up, just for an average house. I guess they have the money to buy them. Anyway. I know that I had talked to a guy that works uh, here in town at a, at a uh, uh, lumber place, you know, home building lumber, whatever you call it. Anyway, he said that uh, it was adding about twenty-five dollars to $30,000 onto the price of the house just because lumber had gone up so much. I guess there's such a high demand that uh, it's just making it that much more expensive and they may have trouble getting materials I don't know I know there had been for a little while and uh, I don't know if it's still as bad as it was or not I know some places in the world it is pretty hard to get lumber to build a house but I know out here they're putting them up quick it's almost like to plant a seed and then water it and the next day there's a house. It's just about like that too. Just looking around before I cross this little street here. I'm sure nobody was coming or anything like that. I don't see anybody coming from the other way back there. I guess I'll go on. there that you're seeing right now right out here is where a lot of people take their dogs I guess you say to do their business and they ride around out there in the field with them all of their dogs and after dogs do what they got to do they put them back in the vehicle and they go home I guess I see a lot of people do that and I don't think I would do that because that field is kind of marshy, kind of wet. There's a lot of spots in that field to hold water. It's kind of low. I'm not too sure I'd want to do that. But, it's not me. Of course, all I have is a cat, so that's no reason to walk my cat. Cats don't care for leashes. I don't believe that cats would want to be put on a cat would be put on a leash. You could put it on a leash, but I'm not too sure that the cat would like it. Cat might have something to say about that. <laughs> Woo! Wind is up blowing. Hope you can hear all this. I'm sure this field in here to drive around. Something to look at besides my face. They hear me yapping. Because uh, I'm sure that you don't always want to see my face. 
when I'm riding. I can see some of the scenery around. I gotta check and make sure this thing's still recording too. Yeah. It's still recording. And I'm watching my battery because it might run out on me. I might not even know it. Uh, but uh, like I said, I want to take you along with my ride today. This road I'm on is sure bumpy. It uh, has had a lot of big trucks go across it. I don't know if you can see right here where the tracks are, but it is awful, awful bumpy. Terrible. It needs to be redone, and I don't know if the state has it or the city has it or what, but it's been this way for a long time, and I don't know if they'll ever fix it. Because I don't... I don't see them doing it anytime soon. I'll put it to you that way. Figuring they aren't going to. But I don't know. I hear those, uh, they're not crickets, but I can't think of what they're called. And they like water and they make a lot of noise, I'll tell you that. come by here a while ago, they weren't doing that, but now they are. Look at there. I think that's a red tail hawk. Hunt for something to eat. There he goes to another tree. 